Hello there, this is Colin and welcome back to the CSS Hero Academy. In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the important override to help you out when you cannot change some of the elements on your web page. So here we are back on the Divi theme and I'm going to turn on CSS Hero so I can pick up some of the elements and I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you get an element that you cannot change. So for example, we're going to choose this element here, which is the slide title. Okay, I'm going to click on slide title to make sure I've got that and we'll go in and change the text on this. Now, for example, I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make it really bright red so that you can see. Now, it's not changing. As you can see, it's still white. So. I need to do something to override this because there's something wrong, but there really isn't something wrong. It just means that some of the CSS in the theme is actually overriding CSS heroes, CSS. And what we need to do is up here, we see a little icon with the exclamation mark and we click on that and then that will allow us to override that override, if you get what I mean. So that's that we can click on save. Now that is actually overridden there now so it stays there now if I do the same I'm going to come down to another element this is something that will happen on some themes but not all of them if I select these icons here okay and I do the same thing the blurb icon and I will go to the text I'm going to change the color as you can see it's coming up purple and if I choose something randomly let's go something really orange here we go bright orange there you can see that nothing's happening so I'm going to come back up here I'm going to click on the exclamation mark again and there you can see now now we're live and now we've got those changes so I click save one more time and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you something here and show you where that code comes in on the CSS so I'm going to click on my little tools here okay and I come down to show generated CSS now it's all garbled up when you see it because it's actually minified but if I click on the normal CSS now we can see where these important statements are this first of all this is the one for the slide title or the slide description okay and this one is for the blurb icon so as you can see there's important there and important there if we remove those we'll lose the overrides that we had for CSS Hero. So I'm just going to close that. And that basically shows you how to override something if you don't see it changing when you're using CSS Hero. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next lesson. If you like this one, please click on subscribe and share it with your friends. Thanks. Bye now.